Hi Virgo, welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot, I'm Shawnee. Hello everyone. <clears throat> hello to all of my new subscribers and all of you that are returning. Hello, I hope your day is going well. I hope your week is already, you know, going smoothly, Virgo. I'm excited to see what this week holds for us. I'm a Virgo as well, September 3rd. All right, Virgo, let me know in the comments down below. Your birthday, our season is almost here. Virgo, represent. All right, my cross watchers, you know, that love to follow the channel. Hello, welcome. Thank you for returning. All right, especially if you're uh, Virgo, rising, moon, north node, Venus, you're all welcome. All right, so we're going to tap into Virgo energy for the week. We're going to do a beautiful spread here. So let's get into it for Virgo, please. So the first card is going to represent the energy entirely for the week. Okay, for the week as a whole, Virgo, you're holding it down. I love it. So this week, just know that you're standing your ground Standing firm in something that you truly, truly believe in. We're going to tap in <clears throat> and get really deep here. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing, I saw the sun. Yeah, the sun, the sun card keeps revealing itself, letting me know it's going to be a victory. You're going to get what it is that you're fighting so hard for, what you're standing your ground for. You're going to win in the end. I'm hearing success. All right, there's going to be some sort of breakthrough or victory or clarity that you're going to receive. Wow. Whatever this is that you're standing firm on, fighting for, standing your ground, not giving in. This energy has been very heavy. Uh, this energy has been very heavy lately for us Virgos. The second card, let's see. What's happening unexpectedly for Virgo, please? Something unexpected that will arise for Virgo. Something unexpected that will arise. All right. So there's that clarity. Mm. So Virgo, I can already see in a situation this week that you're in, you're standing your ground. There's going to be something, there's going to be some, some sudden, unexpected clarity that you're going to receive a breakthrough, something you've been needing, okay? Because it's like you haven't been able to figure this problem out. You haven't been able to work this situation out. For some of you, getting clarity is going to bring whatever this situation to an end. Something is going to end, okay? Wow, I've, I do feel the energy of walking away or looking forward to a new beginning after an ending. Wow, very beautiful here. Seven of Wands, again, very powerful energy, Virgo. Staying, Stay prayed up this week. Make sure you're extra prayed up, you know. This is confirmation that you are protected amidst whatever this is going, whatever, is, whatever challenges you're facing, struggles, you're in a protective, um, a protected bubble, okay? Okay, you're protected. Wow, I'm getting your future is blessed. Okay, let's see what else is going on. So I saw that 10 of swords here. For some of you, something is coming to an end this week. Something that you've been battling, struggling with. What else? How can you stay grounded and balanced this week for Virgo? How can Virgo stay grounded and balanced? We have the Six of Swords. All right. So Virgo... This is all about trusting your intuition, trusting that divine guidance. This is all about learning those lessons. 
leaving when you, you know, leaving a situation that doesn't no longer work for you. It became too chaotic. It's too much conflict. It's stressful. Mm hmm. For some of you, I'm getting the energy of look reading the Bible. Someone here is reading the Bible to get answers, clarity, and it's going to come to you. So if you meditate, pray, may, may even read the Bible or some sort of book is going to give you some, it could be a relationship book, whatever this book of knowledge is that you're going to receive this clarity, ace of swords, this is a gift in your situation, how to get through it, how, what to do, what is the guidance here? And I do see that you are being guided, navigated away to away from this conflict, this stress. You're putting it to an end, okay? So what is the important, what is the important emotion that you will feel this week, Virgo? The important emotion that you will feel this week. I want to get two cards here. One from the tarot and one from the emotions deck, please. All right. So what is the important emotion? Okay. Wow. We have justice. You want what's right. You want what's fair. You want it to be, you know, it's like this is all about getting what you deserve. You want fairness. You want it. Something wasn't right. Mm-hmm. So this is what's in your spirit. You feel like standing your ground, not giving up, whatever this is, not letting someone bully you. You're putting up some sort of boundaries. This could be a relationship, a workplace, a family member, whoever this is, whatever you're doing, Virgo, to stand up for yourself this week. This is what you're supposed to do. In your spirit, you're feeling like this is what's right. This is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, look at this. Eight of Cups. Walk away. There's some sort of heartbreak here. I feel like you're going to be relieved when you walk away. There's someone here that's... Yeah, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. There's someone around you that has bad intentions, okay? It's like the Seven of Swords is deception, someone deceitful, someone that's doing something wrong, and they try to get away with it. And this person has the devil energy attached to them. So this person does things that hurt you, okay? And they try to get away with it. You could be dealing with a fire sign, all right? But Virgo, continue to stand your ground this week. God is going to be giving you clarity and guidance on what to do. And it looks like you're being guided to walk away. Walk away from this toxic situation. This person or this situation is is it's gonna cause delays on your spiritual journey, your path, you know what God has for you. Okay. Yeah, look how successful you're gonna be. Look how relieved, how happy, really, you know, stress-free when this person, when you walk away to the sun. This person here on the card, well, before we get to this point, this person is suffering. And I, I for some of you, you're suffering with the swords energy. I feel like you've been voicing and voicing and voicing what concerns you what stresses you out and there's just been no effort no changes 
And with the Eight of Cups, you're you're going towards happiness. You're going towards the sun. You've received the clarity, the gift of the Ace of Swords. You're you're receiving the clarity. You embraced it. You embraced the the clarity. You've had a breakthrough regarding this painful painful situation that you've been going through. All right. This person has demonic energy and they're going to do nothing but break your heart. That's all they're capable of doing. Wow. Okay. So that that's what's going on here. All right, Virgo. So whatever this devilish energy this situation that you've been struggling with this this week it's gonna you're gonna be walking away and spirit is guiding you and navigating you towards peace harmony balance you're being guided away from the storm where it was just so much you had to go through all right Let's see here. All right, so for Virgo, something that will inspire you this week. Something that will inspire Virgo this week. Something that, okay, we have the death card. I'm telling you guys, this inter this reading is all about major endings. It's all about major endings this week, transformation. All right, Virgo. So what I'm picking up here is the rebirth. With an ending, there will be a new beginning. Now, I did say I was going to get an emotions deck uh, message for Virgo. But your spirit, you're spiritually connected, Virgo, to the divine. So you're going to get, you're going to receive your gifts. You're going to receive what the what the universe has to give you, okay? You're going to receive your whatever it is that the universe feels you need at this time and it's major major breakthrough clarity on a situation that you need to walk away from. There's demonic energy here and you have to walk away. For some of you, this is what has been blocking you on your on your path, on your journey to abundance okay so i love the energy you're in virgo this week again um standing your ground putting up boundaries not settling for less knowing your worth knowing your worth knowing your um knowing your self-worth knowing what you deserve okay i love it i love this energy all right so we have justice card is the important emotion that you will feel this week. All about justice, getting justice in a situation, doing what's right, what feels right, what you deserve. Holy Spirit, for Virgo this week, an important emotion that Virgo will feel this week, an important emotion, stress, very tense energy this week. Drained, under pressure, okay? Strained, okay? Under major stress. All right, Virgo. So this is this, this demonic energy, this person, yeah. For some of you, you're ashamed, okay? The person you were dealing with may act like a child. I'm getting immature energy, for some of you, you could be standing your ground, disciplining a child, getting clarity and a breakthrough on how to deal with this child. Something is going to come to an end, okay? But for some of you, I feel like this is a partner. This also could be a work situation you're deciding to, to walk away from. Where it felt you felt like you had to always defend yourself always have to protect yourself it was a toxic work environment i see you walking away deciding getting the guidance from spirit to walk away it's way too stressful there all right virgo so trust your guidance this week guys 
All right, let me see. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put this deck. But um, we're going to move forward for Virgo, please. So Virgo, something that will inspire you this week is to, again, not only end something, but to embrace a new beginning. I feel like you're looking forward to seeing what else is out there. Okay. For Virgo, let's get a message from Spirit, please. Holy Spirit, what is your message for Virgo? Holy Spirit, what is your message for Virgo? Holy Spirit, what is... Okay, we have two cards here. Three, three cards. Beautiful. Okay, Virgo. So Virgo, yeah, with the hermit, hermit energy, Virgo. And if you're feeling a little lost because of this situation that you're in, if you're feeling lost, the best thing to do is to have some alone time. Get in that hermit mode energy, okay? Get in the hermit mode energy. That's how you're going to get that breakthrough and that clarity that you need so bad this week. All right, Virgo, what's going to happen is, is that I feel like, yeah, because I feel like Virgo with the two of swords here. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy Libra energy, Scorpio. And I am picking up fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. But what I'm picking up here with the two of swords. For some of you in this situation, that's stressful. It may have been very hard. To figure a way out, to know what to do, how to make a decision. It's been very stressful, very, very stressful to even make a decision, even to communicate. It's like you don't trust your heart, you don't trust your thoughts. It's like it's really, really a tough situation. But Spirit is saying if you remove yourself from the situation and receive the clarity, the guidance, the insight. Ask, ask for this guidance. You're going to find yourself in a very powerful position, Virgo, to stand your ground, to know your self-worth, know what it is you deserve, and know that you can manifest it in your new beginning. Okay? So showing up as the Queen of Wands, this is letting me know, Virgo, that you've learned all lessons or you will learn all the lessons that's needed to get out of this situation. With the hangman, this lets me know that you're receiving the breakthrough, the clarity, the guidance, the answers that you need to succeed in this current situation okay and once you receive that the sun with the sun the clarity the answers the new perspective the new way of thinking about this situation you will be released okay you will be released from feeling stuck and not knowing what to do and suddenly you're gonna know what to do you're going to walk away and you're going to end things with the Ten of Swords. Now, how to best support yourself this week? For Virgo, how to best, I'm going to get two cards for this. From our practical self card, self care oracle cards. Okay, I don't know why I'm reading that verbatim, but we're going to go ahead and get self care as well. So Holy Spirit, how can Virgo best support themselves this week? How can Virgo best support themselves this week for Virgo? Okay. Stay, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So with the seven of, yeah, here's that sun card, which is the theme of this reading. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. With the sun card being the theme of this reading with the four of wands, which is all about completion, celebration, stability, okay, um, success, abundance. All right, Virgo. So this is what's coming in for you. How you can best support yourself, Virgo, this week is just to stay focused on work. Stay productive. Work on yourself, your mental health. Take good care of yourself at this time. Stay healed up, prayed up. Keep, you know, this is the time to stay extra prayed up at this time. Okay? And, you know, so that you can trust your intuition when you're being called to take action. With the Queen of Wands, you're very powerful this week, Virgo. So stand in your ground. The Queen of Wands trusts her intuition. She knows how powerful, powerful she is because of how spiritually and divinely connected she is. Okay. So Virgo, you're going to go from feeling a little confused, maybe on the verge of giving up to feeling very powerful, knowing what you're doing is right, receiving all the clarity and answers and guidance on to move forward in your journey versus standing stuck where you're unhappy and very much stressed. The Seven of Swords can also represent escaping, removing yourself from a situation strategically okay so what i'm picking up virgo for some of you you may be walking away from a job okay you may decide to leave but you already have a new position a new job a new business whatever it is in place you're being very smart about it okay so if you do leave a job make sure that you're being very smart you, you planned it out. It makes sense. You're not going to put yourself in a hardship. Okay. But that's what's happening, guys. You're moving on with your life towards real, true happiness and fulfillment. This week, Virgo. This takes a lot of strength. A lot of inner strength. But I feel like this gift of the Ace of Swords... Is going to be your superpower this week. Receiving that major breakthrough and clarity that you needed. Like you knew you were going through a stressful situation. But some sort of answers and guidance is going to be nudging you and pushing you to do something. And for a lot of you, you already intuitively know it's to leave, to walk away. It's way too stressful. It's too tense. It's way too much pressure. And that pressure is coming from the devil energy. Okay. So how can Virgo best? And if you guys are feeling this reading so far, you guys, into this reading, um, pretty much we're towards the end. Hit that like button for me, guys. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. And it also helps other Virgos reach this weekly reading. I greatly love and appreciate all of you who hit that like button. Make sure you guys comment down below if you resonate with this reading. So that I can tap into your energy when I read all of your comments. I love you guys. Alright Virgo. So... The best way Virgo can support themselves this week ooh we have speak up declutter avoid toxic people and of course nutrition you know how us Virgos love to eat so spirit is saying make sure that you fill your body with food that's going to give you strength mental clarity you know um, I'm hearing declutter declutter, declutter the mind body detoxify i'm hearing all of that might be good for you this week virgo all right so you can think clearly and receive 
every drop of clarity that spirit is bringing your way. All right, guys. So make sure you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. If you, you know, you're like, I don't eat that all the time. Just try to add extra into your diet this week. All right, Virgo, we have speak up. What are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy. Virgo, speak up. You guys, make sure your throat chakra is clear and balanced so that you guys can speak up. Say what it is that's been bothering you. Speak it up. I'm hearing speak up. I'm hearing be assertive, know your self-worth, know you deserve, your voice deserves to be heard, your feelings matter, your needs matter, and for you to be happy, you need to say what you need to say and move on. All right, the next card is declutter. Let go of old items. Create a new sacred space for yourself. So this is all about getting rid of what is no longer of value in your life. It's time to declutter and create a very sacred space for yourself. For some of you, you may be living with this toxic person. You may be living in a toxic environment. There may be items in your home that have toxic energy connected to it. This is the time right now, Virgo, to rem let go of old items, create a new sacred space for yourself, especially if this is someone that's in your home or has been in your home. Let go of their items. Don't leave it in your home, especially if you've removed that person, like an old T-shirt, a watch. Get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm picking up the energy of cleaning up your home. Cleaning your home is very, very important, guys. Keep your home clean and decluttered at this time. Okay. Cleanliness is, like, is next to godliness. All right, Virgo. Because sometimes we can fall into a depressive energy when we're around toxic people where we don't no longer want to take care of ourselves. We don't no longer want to clean our home. So this is the time, guys, this week is going to be filled with a lot of changes. Avoid negative people, toxic people. Hang out with people who will uplift your spirit, Virgo, not bring it down. All right. If you find yourself always getting into some sort of argument, debative energy back and forth, it's just negative energy overall. Every time you try to talk to this person, you seem to not be able to get it out. This is a toxic person. This is the person that spirit is telling you that's too stressful, that you need to walk away from. Okay, so only, only allow people that uplift your spirit around you. If they're not doing that, Virgo, these are the people that have to go this week. This can be a mother, a sister, a, you know, an adult son or daughter, whoever it is that has this demonic energy that is holding you down you have to let it go guys this week okay and i'm telling you with this type of action that you're taking that you're spiritually guided to do you're going to be rewarded in a major way with the sun card appearing multiple times this is letting me know, Virgo, you're going to be relieved. You're going to be happy you were able to speak up. You're going to be happy you had the strength to take care of yourself and stand up for yourself. And, and, and it's going to remind you how powerful you are and that you've been through this before. You've been through situations like this where you had to stand up and you made it out on top and you know you're going to make it on top again. So Virgo, 
I encourage you to do what you have to do, handle business. I applaud you for standing up for yourself this week, guys. We're going to get one closing message from the Holy Spirit. All right, guys. Again, if you're still watching to this far, Virgo, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if this reading resonated. Unexpected help is arriving, guys, this week. All right, and I feel like that unexpected help is going to be the divine gift of the Ace of Swords. You might be struggling in a situation dealing with these toxic people. You might be very stressed, so it's hard to really, you may feel weakened by, you know, their abuse. But Spirit is saying this unexpected help is going to give you the strength and remind you, of how powerful you are in this situation. You can walk away. You can put it to an end. All right. So I'm going to get one more message here from Spirit. And then we're going to close this reading out. One more message from Spirit. Holy Spirit for Virgo this week. The 22nd through the 28th. Holy Spirit. Show me clearly for Virgo. For Virgo. What is the message, Holy Spirit? What is your message that you want Virgo to know this week? My beautiful, brave Virgo, standing up for themselves, speaking up. We have number six and we have another card here. Okay, so it says here, Virgo, for some of you, number six is very significant um, you may be that for this week, you may see number six. Number six is all about your life coming together, domestic happiness, harmony, integration. This is about service, responsibility, nurturing, energy. All right. A cause and an effect. All right. So Virgo, this energy of number six is letting me know that there's a duty that you have this week, a responsibility to bring harmony, domestic happiness back into your home, back into your life, your spiritual body. Yeah, your spiritual self, your, your body, which is your spiritual, you know, your vessel, <laughs> your home for your spiritual being. Your home, the home for your spiritual self. I can barely speak. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of you have been feeling very stressed. So there's peace coming within. And for some of you, I'm hearing within your home. But you do have a responsibility this week, guys. To take action. And don't forget to nurture yourself as well. All right. No more forgetting about you and putting you on the back burner. That's going to be part of your old chapter. And the next chapter, you're going to live like your desired self. Your desired self will not put themselves on the back burner. All right. The last card from the Holy Spirit is love who you are, Virgo. You're created perfectly. Everything about your true self is beautiful. I needed to hear that. And I'm going to read it again. Virgo, love who you are. You're created perfectly. Everything about your true self is beautiful. Don't let any toxic person tell you otherwise. Or make you feel any otherwise. All right. Any other way. Than perfect. All right. So spirit says Virgo. You were created perfectly. You're beautiful. And that's what you stand on this week. For the rest of your life. But that's what you really believe to your core this week. Because I feel like there's people around you. That's going to make you feel less than. At the bottom of the deck we have increase you have successfully manifested 
something near and dear to your heart. All right, guys. So there it is. With that Queen of Wands energy, remembering how powerful you are this week, you're going to manifest something close and dear to your heart. So, guys, only you know what that is. Continue to manifest, guys, and remember how powerful you are. Yeah, make a wish. Yeah, manifest. This is the time, Virgo. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, Virgo, hit me up at Virgo Speaks Tarot at gmail.com and I got your back. All right, guys, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and I will be back with your finances and career reading as well as the what the month of August is bringing for us Virgos. All right, so stay tuned for those two videos. I love you until the next time. Stay abundant. Bye, Virgo.